So here we're going to solve this equation. My radical is already by itself, so I'm going to go ahead and apply the power on both sides to eliminate that radical. I get w squared equals 4w minus 3. And because I have a square on my variable, now this is a quadratic equation, which means I do want to get it equal to 0. So I will minus 4w and add 3 so that they are on the other side now. And then this I can factor. So I'm going to choose to factor it. If you are not great at factoring, you can always use the quadratic formula to find these solutions. But I get w minus 3 equal to 0. w minus 1 equal to 0. So w equals 3 or w equals 1. Now we have to check those answers. So first I'm going to check is w equal to 3. So I'm going to plug it into the original problem before I started squaring things. So my w value, square root of 4 times my w value, minus 3. So that's 12 minus 3. 12 minus 3 is 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. So this one does check out. Now let's come over here and let's check w equal to 1. So again, plugging it into the original, my w value equal to the square root of 4 times my w value minus 3. I get the square root of 4 minus 3, which is the square root of 1, which is 1. So this answer checks out as well. So I have two solutions, 3 and 1. Now let's look at this next example. The radical piece is already by itself, so I can go ahead and square both sides. I get v squared equals 2v plus 15. I can move these terms over to the left hand side because it is a quadratic now because of the v squared. And I can factor this into v minus 7 and v plus 5. So if I set each factor equal to 0, I get v equal to 7 and v equal to negative 5. And now we need to check each solution. So first I'm going to check is v equal to 7. So we have 7 equals square root of 2 times 7 plus 15. So we get 14 plus 15. And then we get... Um, 29 and 7 doesn't there's no square root of 29 so this one does not work out I'm just verifying with my problem that I have done it correctly oh 7 and 5 do not make 15 now do they I believe my factors are incorrect I apologize for the noise. I will pause while I erase. Okay, so when I factor this, it actually should be v minus 5 and v plus 3. There we go. Now those multiply to give me negative 15 and combine to give me negative 2. So if I set this factor equal to 0, I get v equal to 5. If I set the other factor equal to 0, I get v equal to negative 3. So the first one I try is going to be 5. So 5 equal to the square root of 2 times 5 plus 15. So then I get square root of 10 plus 15, which is the square root of 25. And the square root of 25 is 5. So this one does check out. Now let's check v equal to negative 3. So into the original, negative 3 equals the square root of 2 times negative 3 plus 15. Negative 3 equals the square root of negative 6 plus 15. Negative 3 equals the square root of 9. And then negative 3 equals the square root of 9 is just 3. But negative 3 does not equal positive 3. So this solution does not work which means there's only one answer, and that answer is the positive 5. So it's very important you check your answers, because in some cases, both of them will work, 
In some cases, one of the solutions will work and it is possible that both solutions will not work. And so then you would have no solution. So it's very important that you check every single one of the answers that you found to figure out if they actually are in fact solutions.